Okay, we're doing this a new type of way. Chapter 3, Power Projection Tactics in Nature. The most important causes of change are not to be found in political manifestos or in the pronouncements of dead economists, but in the hidden factors that alter the boundaries where power is exercised. Subtle changes in climate, topography, microbes, and technology. The sovereign individual. Reference 44. Chapter 3.1. Introducing Power Projection Theory. Many human power projection tactics can be understood by simply observing what happens in nature. Spend spend enough time studying how organisms behave, and it becomes clear that there is a causally inferable relationship between two phenomena. One, the physical power projection capabilities of living organisms, and two, the amount of freedom, prosperity, and resource abundance they enjoy. Nature appears to disproportionately favor its strongest and most intelligent power projectors. Why is that? Nature doesn't necessarily have to behave like this. There are other characteristics aside from strength and intelligence that animals could asymmetrically reward by placing them higher in the pecking order. What's so special about physical strength and intelligence? Why do so many species focus their attention on rewarding their strongest and most intelligent members. Why do animals even need to be picky about who they feed and breed in the first place? Power projection theory lays the groundwork for understanding why physical strength and intelligence is so intrinsically valuable in the wild and why it's so often used as the basis for settling disputes managing limited resources, and establishing intraspecies dominance hierarchies, a.k.a. pecking order. Nature has an incontrovertible bias towards its strongest and most intelligent organisms. Animals which master their capacity and inclination to project physical power in increasingly clever ways tend to prosper better in the wild than animals which don't. In other words, the strong and the aggressive often survive. The weak and the docile often don't. There must be an explanation for this, an explanation which could provide some insight into why humans project power, settle disputes, and manage resources the way they do. This explanation could help shed light on why emerging power projection tactics, techniques, and technologies like Bitcoin are so remarkable. To understand the socio-technical and national strategic significance of Bitcoin, it is first necessary to develop a first principles understanding of the primary value delivered function of physical power projection. A mental model is needed of how physical power projection works, why it works, and what value its primary value delivered function is for the organisms which master it. To that end, the author begins a grounded theory about Bitcoin with a theory about power projection. This chapter explores the concept of property ownership and retraces the evolutionary steps that life took to become increasingly more prosperous. The reader is guided through examples of power projection tactics in nature. A series of anecdotes explore complex relationships between life, power, property, and prosperity. Throughout this chapter, the word power is used strictly in a physical context to describe energy, joules, transferred per unit of time, joules over second, to form a phenomenon called watts. From both a systemic and psychological perspective, Physical power, a.k.a. watts, serves many useful functions in nature and society. One of the most useful yet underappreciated functions of physical power in nature is providing living creatures with a basis for settling their disputes, managing their resources, and establishing a pecking order in a zero-trust, egalitarian, and permissionless way. Animals don't have governments. Okay. The author explores how physical power provides life with what it needs to undertake 
the existentially imperative task of gaining, maintaining, and sharing access to limited physical resources using dominance hierarchies. An assertion is made that physical power is the primary means through which all living creatures, including and especially sapiens, achieve consensus on the legitimate state of ownership and chain of custody of precious resources. This assertion forms the basis of an argument that without the presence of physical power, most animals cannot achieve consensus about who owns what property. This simple observation feeds into later discussions about power dynamics in modern agrarian society. After explaining the link between physical power and resource ownership, the author discusses how organisms in nature adopt different physical power projection strategies to increase their capacity to capture resources while simultaneously defending themselves against predators. The author introduces a concept called primordial economics to explain the dynamics of naturally occurring phenomenon like predation. A novel technique called bowtie notation is introduced to offer a similar, a simple explanation for why animals organize the way they do. These concepts are, are used throughout the remainder of the theory to explain why humans project power and how new technologies like Bitcoin could affect this behavior.